I won't be able to leave the house for the next four days. There are all these little warehouses are coming up with food now. He probably usually eats out of there. This is the popular hangout spot. We're definitely a lot more strict today. So it looks like he's sterilizing his front porch. I'm making some coca tea for Lindsay. Here is the coca. So I put that in there, put a little bit of sugar, not too much, and then put some milk, a little bit, and it makes it into a milk tea. Gracias. Good morning from Cusco, Peru, where we've been locked down for about three weeks so far. So we've been getting pretty much daily emails from the U.S. Embassy in Peru. We got one this morning that said that to date they've had 6,050 Americans that have gone from Peru back to America. But today on this email, it says, we do not anticipate ongoing regularly scheduled flights. We urge U.S. citizens who wish to return to the United States to take advantage of any forthcoming options. If you cannot board an upcoming flight, be prepared to remain in Peru until the country's government ends its nationwide restrictions to prevent the spread of COVID-19. So sounds like they're nearing the end of rescue flights from Peru to the United States. And even though we were getting these emails, we were pretty sure that we wanted to stay in Peru, so we aren't on any lists or anything. So it looks like we're probably going to be stuck here and we have no idea for how long. And so far we've been going to the same market and the same tiny little grocery store this whole time and so we haven't really been able to cook much. So today I'm going to go on a little adventure and try to go to La Canasta, which is about a mile away. Hopefully the police will allow me to walk that far. And today is guy's day. Only men are allowed out today. So, Lindsay is stuck here. What are you gonna do while I'm gone? I am going to park myself on this couch very comfortably and watch Netflix. <laughs> that sounds nice. So I'm gonna go see if there's anything different that we can get and maybe we can actually cook some meals after this. And Mr. Potato Head, he isn't gonna be coming with me because it's too far of a walk for him. We don't take him when it's that far. I'll bring you on a walk when I get back. So as always, before I go out, I have to grab a mask, mandatory, a shopping bag, and my backpack, which has the passports in it. And money. Oh, and my wallet. Alright guys, so a big reason that I'm going to be stocking up, a reason that I'm even leaving the house today, is because I won't be able to leave the house for the next four days. There are holidays coming up and so we're actually not allowed to leave our house and everything is gonna be closed for the next two days and then things are closed on Sundays anyway. So this is my last chance for four days to leave the house at all. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of this walk. This is really weird because I've been in Cusco for over three weeks and we haven't gone really more than 10 minutes from our house. We felt kind of trapped like that. But now I'm going much further and I'm seeing different parts of Cusco that I haven't seen yet. It's like I'm traveling again.
you look over here, you'll see there's a huge line, I think for a bank, and then also a huge line for probably a pharmacy. So where we've been living in the historic center, we haven't seen lines for anything because we don't really see that many people. But when you come to the main center, that's when you see there are actually quite a lot of people out. All right, there's home. Home is one of these somewhere up here. So it turns out it's true to my Peruvian friends watching. It was much cheaper going to that supermarket than it has been going to Gatos, which is aimed more at tourists in the historic district. So the pluses and minuses of going to this large supermarket. Pluses, there is a lot of food. Also, surprisingly, as you go further out, there are some people selling food on the streets. We thought they weren't allowed to do that anymore. There are all these little warehouses that are coming up with food now. We'd never seen any of these before. It takes about 20 minutes to make the trek there and about 20 minutes back, obviously. And you can't really hold too much can't get many liquids or really heavy stuff because obviously you have to carry it that far. So I got this bag, which is a little heavy, and then I filled up my backpack also. So I'm almost back now. Let's see what Lindsay thought of what I got. After you left, he was doing that thing where he scratches at the door, so I distracted him by feeding him two eggs. And then that lasted for like five minutes and he went right back to the door and sat there and opened it. Oh, you wanted to walk? So I couldn't carry back that heavy of stuff, but I sacrificed some of the weight for this. That it's, looks uh, good. It looks like vanilla with chocolate syrup and brownie pieces. Ooh. Yeah, I don't even know how much that was. Since we're feeding our doggo hot dogs, I had to get enough for me and the dog. <laughs> I got actual beef so we can put it in pasta or make burgers or something. It was decently cheap. I got a soy sauce, Ooh. so you can put it in rice and maybe do like rice and vegetables. I got lentils. Somebody told us on YouTube, thank you, that this is good for helping you breathe. Because there's more elevation. iron, I think. He gave him a little bone here, and he likes it. Can't believe it. I was afraid a street dog wouldn't like dog food. All right, guys, so we've been putting out these videos every two days. And after this video, we decided that the next one is going to be a live video. So for the live video, we're going to be sitting in our house, we're going to have a couple drinks, and you guys can join us. You guys can leave your comments and your questions, and they'll come up in a feed, and we can actually kind of talk to you guys. It'll be like we're all hanging out. So we're going to do that on this coming Saturday. At 7 p.m. So 7 p.m. in Peru. So this is our first time ever going live. Neither of us have ever done it before, and so it's gonna be pretty interesting. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, hopefully it's fun, should be. You can grab a drink, grab some food, and let's just hang out for a little bit on our lockdowns. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think he wanted to come over here because of all the garbage. He probably usually eats out of there. It is a gorgeous day to go out for a walk. Uh, it's probably around 70 degrees, no humidity. Today is the all women's day and I have seen maybe only one guy. So definitely a lot more strict today than it has been the other day that I was out. What'd you find? You found something. Looks like some sort of meat. I guess this is the popular hangout spot. Cusco seems like such a beautiful city. We haven't really gotten the chance to actually explore it yet, but you better believe once this lifts, we will be exploring it to its fullest. If I had money right now, I'd probably go buy something, but Alex spent all the cash yesterday. 
we only have his cards to pull out money out of the ATM because mine got stolen. I had a debit card and two credit cards and somehow all my information got stolen even though I hadn't even used them. We think it happened in Lima. We're not even sure how it happened because I had it in a protected wallet from those scanners that people can steal your info with. So it's a mystery to me, but thank goodness I have Alex because he has cards we can use and I don't. So one really good thing that's come out of this lockdown is just being appreciative for the little things that we used to take for granted. Sounds cliche, but it's true. Like even just right now, walking in the sunshine, feeling the breeze, just little things like that, that now I can't do half of the week because we have to be inside on the days that aren't women days. And then the other huge thing that I know I personally take for granted way too often is my health. I'm so thankful to be in good health. I'm thankful to have access to good food and to be in such a good place right now during this lockdown. But I think that things like this that happen, like the coronavirus, just really cause you to stop and pause and appreciate all the good things that we usually just always have, so we take them for granted. All right, guys, it's dinner time. And remember I got those beans yesterday at the San Blas Market? Well, we soaked them overnight. There they are. So we're hoping to make some nachos or some tacos or burritos or something like that with this rice, beans, avocado, tomato, some kind of salsa, cheese. So this is just the beginning. And look at all this that. This is one layer. This is the first layer, and then we put a layer on top, and then we put all the ingredients on the top as well. You gotta get creative with your lockdown food. And we're using this sauce. It's a little bit spicy, adds some flavor. Yuchukuta. Wow, yours looks huge. <laughs> look at the height on that. It's like two inches tall. That sauce adds a perfect little spice. Mm. And now we're gonna answer some of your comments and questions. So what's the first one? Lindsay, take them away. <laughs> first one is from Sam Hill saying, can't you take the dog back to the States? So a lot of you have been suggesting that we should keep the dog, bring it back to the States with us. And the problem with that is with coronavirus going on, it's hard enough for us to even get a flight back. I don't even think we're gonna be able to. Uh, and so I don't really think bringing the dog back at this time is an option. Also, we travel so much, I don't think we could give the dog the best life that it could have. So our plan is to find a really good home for Mr. Potato Head before we leave Cusco, Peru. So if you guys have any information or know-how, if you know of places where we could take him, if you want to take him and adopt him yourself or anything like that, then let us know and we really want to try to figure out something, something that we can do to help him before we leave. So the next question is from Crazy Blade, saying, how is your family back home? So I'm from Minnesota, most of my family is there right now and they're kind of doing a self-quarantine. It's not quite a mandatory lockdown like it is here where it's being patrolled by police and all of that, but my mom is really only going grocery shopping once every two weeks. She doesn't want to be exposed, so they're really trying to limit their exposure to people as much as possible and do the social distancing. But overall, doing well, they're healthy. Uh, pretty similar for me. My family is back home in California, pretty close to San Francisco, and they're all in quarantine as well. My parents are in their house by themselves and not really seeing anybody because uh, it's a pretty scary thing. Okay, so Vons Lama asked uh, quite a few good questions. And so, one, are you allowed to take a chair outside at least and sit in the sun while you're there? I don't think so. We have gone outside a couple of times for a little bit, but we have a bunch of neighbors around us and they don't seem to be going outside and doing that. Now, starting the last couple of days, there have been police patrolling even within all of these little alleyways and things in these small neighborhoods. 
<laughs> All right, another great question. What kind of work do you do to earn money while you're in quarantine? So I have the YouTube channel. I've been making travel videos for the last couple of years. I have another channel. Uh, this is kind of a new one, but that's what I've been doing for money for the last two and a half years. And then I was a nurse prior to coming on these travels and I saved up a bunch of money in order to travel. So I'm just going off of that. And then she asks, what are you doing to keep yourself entertained during lockdown? For the most part, we have this thing right here. <laughs> we watch Netflix pretty much constantly. Yes. What else? We edit a lot of videos, we film. Now that we have a dog, uh, he comes with us on walks and he entertains us. He's quite cute and funny. Uh, we cook together, listen to music, drink wine. All right, we have one from German Camacho. In Lima, a woman dressed like a man and got arrested. So in the last video, if you guys watched that, I tried to dress up as a guy to see if I could pull it off. <laughs> like a pretty good dude but uh we decided not to take the risk we didn't go out on the walk with me dressed as a man and it sounds like it's probably good we didn't because people are getting arrested for that but maybe we could dress up alex as a woman all right we have one here from rita reichlin she said you guys need to test a peruvian drink inca cola viva peru we actually did we tried it on a bus when we first got to peru we just haven't released those videos yet because of quarantine but I'll show you a little clip here. Look at that. Inca Cola, but it's bright neon yellow. Let's try this. It tastes just like bubblegum. Richard Flapper says that he was in Cusco last year in November, and he said it's really eerie to see how empty the streets are now. And I wanted to highlight this comment because we actually were here the day before the lockdown started and there were a bunch of people out. And so I wanted to make a video for you guys showing you the difference between how it was when we got here and how it is now. So stay tuned for that video because it should come out sometime this week. All right, that's the end of the questions. We can't wait to go live with you guys on Saturday. It should be pretty awesome to get to know you guys. You can get to know us a little bit. And we'll see you at 7 p.m. Don't be late. <laughs> Do you want postcards from around the world? Right now I am writing and drawing on postcards to my subscribers. If you want to join my Patreon, click the link below. You'll be supporting the channel and you'll be getting something pretty cool with a drawing from me. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.